details about a deadly shooting in Miami's Liberty City neighborhood. The tragedy happened this morning. Crime scene tape now surrounding two businesses here in Local 10's Laren Livingston is live now for the latest developments. Laren. And we've learned those two businesses that are now behind this crime scene tape are owned by the same person. And we're told that person is the victim in this deadly shooting. And police, they are aware of surveillance video. And we're told via police sources that that surveillance video shows the victim in an office inside the perfect paint and body shop here with a person. That person leaves and then walks back in. And that video reportedly shows that suspect shooting the victim multiple times. Oh, my God. Cries of grief from customers, relatives, and friends. He's just a, a loving guy. He's a big, big teddy bear. Elias Damus is one of those friends. He tells me he got the call this morning that his friend, Nader Weda, affectionately known as Bubba, had been shot and killed. He's just a great guy. He's just a great guy, heart of gold. The biggest heart I've ever, and a person I've ever met in my life. We're told everyone knew Bubba. A crowd of people gathered outside the crime scene. Bubba's owned the corner store, Bubba's Supermarket, at Northwest 7th and 75th Street for more than two decades. We've learned he also ran the adjacent auto body shop. Hello, welcome to Perfect. That's Bubba appearing in a professional video on the body shop's Facebook page. Sources tell us Bubba was in the body shop in the office when he was shot this morning. Miami police say the call came in shortly before 11 o'clock. It appears that the victim was well known in the community, and it just appears to be another act of senseless violence, which has to be stopped. And we did ask police because sources were telling us that the alleged suspect turned himself in to another jurisdiction, but we're still waiting for that information to be confirmed via detectives here on scene. In the meantime, we're hearing that the victim's body is still inside this body shop, waiting for the medical examiner's office to come retrieve it. Of course, anything we learn about the situation, especially a confirmation on a suspect arrest, we'll let you know right here on Local 10 and at Local10.com. For now, we're live here in Miami, Larry Livingston, Local 10 News.